This video is a collaboration with Opera Vision. Opera Vision! Do, 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 do. Opera Vision is a fabulous platform on which you can watch full length operas for nothing. For nothing. There's literally no money involved. It's free. Yeah! So, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you know this music. No? Okay, what about this one? Still not? Okay, then you definitely know this one. But Are you moving your head a bit? All of these excerpts are from Rossini's masterpiece, Il Barbiere di Siviglia, The Barber of Seville, which originally is a French play by Beaumarchais. The story is set in Seville in the 18th century, as usual. This is the Count Almaviva, who is uh, disguised as a poor student named Lindoro. The opera starts with a beautiful serenade scene in which Almaviva hopes to make the young Rosina fall in love with him. That's why he's disguised as a poor guy, because he wants her to fall in love for his personality and not his richness. <laughs> Rosina is this fierce teenage girl who is a bit sequestered by her tutor, Dr. Bartolo. Her tutor is planning on marrying her to himself. That's why he's keeping her inside the house so that no one can really take a look to this incestuous, weird situation. This sequestration situation is making Almaviva's plan a bit difficult. But don't worry, because Almaviva will get the help of the star of this show. Figaro! 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 Yes, sir! Figaro is the barber of Seville, although he barely cuts any beard. <laughs> Figaro offers Almaviva to help him get his girl. Here is the plan. Almaviva, disguised as Lindoro, will on top of that disguise himself as a drunk soldier and try to barge into the house of Bartolo and Rosina. Did you realize that about operas? That they always have to make it more complicated? It was not enough that the guy was already disguised. On top of that, he has to be a disguised man in disguise. like. Anyway, Rosina was very charmed by Lindoro's serenade and she sees him as a way out of her house and her incestuous situation. So, she writes him a love letter in a fabulous aria. Una voce poco fa. And she will then give that letter to Figaro so that he could pass it on to Lindoro. Queen of God. Na 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 na. Si, Lindoro. Moments later, Almaviva slash Lindoro, now disguised as a drunk soldier, barges into the house of Bartolo and Rosina and acts all drunk and demands hospitality. While Bartolo is calling the cops, Almaviva manages to sneak in a letter to Rosina. When the cops finally arrive, Bartolo is like, arrest this man! And Almaviva discreetly reveals his identity to one of the cops. So they leave him alone. Bartolo is like shocked. He's like, <laughs> Act 2 starts with another disguise of Almaviva, already disguised as Lindoro. This time, he dressed up as 
a music teacher and he enters Bartolo's house telling him that Rosina's music teacher Basilio is sick and that he is here to replace him. Seeing that Bartolo is not really buying his act and trusting him, he gives him the love letter that Rosina sent to Lindoro in the previous act, and he makes Bartolo believe that this Lindoro is actually a servant from the evil Count Almaviva who's trying to take Rosina from him. Even though Bartolo is happy to learn this information, he is still a bit suspicious. So he decides to stay in the room while the substitute teacher is giving her music lesson to Rosina. <laughs> But then, Figaro, superhero, arrives to shave Bartolo. He finally does his job, yay! He manages to distract Bartolo enough so that Almaviva can give the flirtiest music lesson ever to Rosina. Bartolo finally hears the two lovers kind of flirting, and so he stops everything, gets super mad, and throws all the men out of the house. Bartolo decides that enough is enough and he's going to marry Rosina this evening. He asks his friend, the actual music teacher Basilio, to go and fetch the notary because they will marry each other at midnight. Rosina arrives and finally agrees to marry her tutor when he tells her about Lindoro and how he is a servant from Almaviva and he's been using her since the beginning of the opera. It is the night and the wedding is about to happen. Figaro and Almaviva climb to Rosina's room. When Rosina sees Lindoro slash Almaviva, she's very mad against him. And so he tells her that he is the count and explains to her why he wanted to disguise himself as a student and that he's been loving her since the beginning. And she's so pleasantly surprised that of course she loves, she loves him back. And right at this moment, Basilio and the notary arrive to Rosina's room for the wedding with Bartolo. Almaviva bribes the notary in order to switch the groom. Notary is marrying Almaviva to Rosina and Basilio and Figaro are the two mandatory witnesses. So by the time Bartolo arrives in the room in order to marry his ward and arrest the intruders, the lady is already married to the count. whoop de doo And Almaviva chooses this fabulous moment to reveal his identity to everyone present. What a nice happy ending. Oh, and if you loved these characters, I highly recommend the sequel, Le Nozze di Figaro. This sequestration, this sequestration? Sequestration. So we need a street. Okay. <laughs>